Hello you crazy awesome dancers! In this video you're going to learn 10 turns in bachata and what they are good for. And we also have a bonus at the end. Thank you patrons, thank you subscribers, we're close to 100,000 subscribers. Subscribe! And if you want to learn with us more in a structured way, visit marishelena.com. That being said, let's start with the first turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The basic turn is the first one you learn it, we are not gonna talk about it at all. The second one is the back turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. The back turn, especially for me as a leader, as the one that creates the combination, is helpful to change the hands. Because when you turn back, one, two, three, four, you end up, for example, right to right. Or if you do it in the other way, boom, 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 left to left. But of course, for the follower as well, you could create, for example, a reverse hammerlock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's something a little bit different. It's something more advanced than the basic turn into the hammerlock, etc. So you use the back turn for mainly two purposes, to change hands or to create combinations. Really fast, let us know in the comment section down below which one of these turns is new for you. Next, we have the delayed turn and we teach it in two ways. The first one is with a tap, the second one is without a tap. Let's go first one for the followers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. The second one without the tap, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. The same goes for the leader. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Bam, 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 bam. You use the delayed turn, for example, to launch combinations yet again. As I did, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, and three, four. The delay turn, as you can see, it's useful to create combinations. Another one would be a change of places. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. This delay turn adds a little bit more dynamics. One final example, even if I mainly do it on me as a leader, it's really great to create combinations. For example, a change of places, five, six, seven, eight, and back, turn, boom. Of course, there are moves for the follower as well. One really good example would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and you go into other combinations. As you saw right in the beginning, I used that delayed turn to launch what we call ochos. So, delay turn, create combos. The next one is the prep turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Or this one. Boom, 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 boom. All of these are prep turns. The idea is you prepare on the first step and you do kind of a spin in place. This one is useful to create combinations. It's one of my favorite turns because it's really dynamic. I like spins and you can use it in many, many places. For example, you could do a Madrid with a prep turn. Let's go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. And it adds a little bit of flavor. Another example would be I do a prep turn and then I pull Helena towards me like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It adds dynamics. Also, in the way I did it, it's also useful to change the hands because you turn around, one, two, three, boom. Another good use for the prep turn is to exit some combos or some positions. And what I can think of are at least two variations. A simple one, a simple prep turn exiting a hammerlock hip roll, and the other one involves a double prep. The first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. And the other one, without that hip roll, for example, one, two, three, four, you want to exit, but you cannot do only a prep turn. Of course, you could do like a move, release the hammerlock and go back here, but you want to exit completely, not continue a combo. You do a double prep. Prep, prep, and turn. Prep, prep, and turn. 
And this leads us to the next turn, what we call a fast turn on two counts. Of course, the prep turn involves that fast turn, but you can do a fast turn normally, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. Another purpose for the fast turn is to create some distance, especially if you use it as a leader, because I go in a fast turn, one, two, and I gain some distance. For example, here I can pull five, six, seven, eight. Or if you want to create a combo, you go into the fast turn and you already pull. So one, two, three, four, and you go five, six, seven, eight. And one final thing, you could use it to exit a move, to catch an accent. For example, from a pretzel, your one, two, bam, bam, and the music change, you go out on one. Or for example, as we already did that change of places, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fast, turn, boom, and so on. So to intro, to enter a combo, during a combo, or to exit a combo. Also catch accents, and maybe if the music changes, it helps you to get out on the correct side. The next one is the half turn. I mainly use it to enter the shadow position, but I guess it has many other purposes. So you do a basic one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For me as a leader, the footwork part involves a mambo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For the follower, it's just like the basic step, 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 step. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play with the hands, etc. Bam, 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 bam. Also, I can use it to enter the shadow position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A variation of the half turn would be like the mambo turn because I can turn myself half but continue going in that direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I guess the same could work for the girls. Just be careful about your leading leaders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And etc. you continue the move. So the main purposes would be to enter combinations. The last turns will be a little bit more complex, but not that difficult. The first one we're talking about is the double turn. It's mainly useful or I use it for more variation, for more speed, more dynamics, and usually to enter a dip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, exit, etc. So double turn, mainly used to travel. You could also travel a lot more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and enter into something else. For example, in terms of musicality, you catch some fast uh, accents, yeah? You can do a double turn, or it's a good way to go into a dip, but be really careful about how you are controlling this. The footwork for the ladies is gonna be explained by Elena, but it's fairly simple. First, you take your direction, you orient your leg in the direction you are turning, but afterwards you just do small steps one after another. One important thing for me as a lady to look good and to have balance, I will try to get my feet together every time I pivot. So I go here, step, close, step, close, and so on, depending on how many turns, but in this case, a double one. The next one, I call it the half prep turn. It's more dynamic, it's more energetic, it's very useful if you want to catch some breaks in the song or if the song is a little bit more sharp with more clear beats and you want to go pam, 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 pam. I'm gonna stick to dancing. I mainly use it on the left side as a leader, but you can use it on both sides. For example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, prep and half turn. You see, I stay two counts, maybe there was an accent. And from here, of course, I launch other combinations. One more time, I prepare it on one, I turn on two, and I step forward as a guy on three just to have that stability. But I stop Elena here. Waves, etc., etc., etc. Another example would be when I use it, yet again, just to catch something in the music, but be careful, leaders, about your tap because you need to go in the same direction with your follower. So for example, one, two, three, four, and here I must go five, six, seven, eight. Nobody says that you cannot adapt a little bit. Maybe the follower is really reactive, is a really good follower, and you can one, two, three, boom, and you can change 
directions a little bit, but be careful about that, use it wisely. The last one, we call it the one and a half turn and mainly you will meet it in the shadow position. When you are here, you go one, two, three, and for example, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. We usually call it a double, but it's actually one and a half because one, two, three, four, five, six, that was one, and seven, eight, that's the half. So it's one and a half. Of course, you could launch other combinations, go into Carissa, let's go just for the exit, five, six, seven, eight. In this case, it's one and three quarters, you go into a wave, etc., etc. But the idea remains the same. Use it however you think, but be really sure you know. Either it's one turn, one and a half, one and three quarters, two turns, etc, etc. For the ladies, for this kind of turn, I do like a triple step at the end. So from here, I have five, six, seven, and eight, and go one, two, three, four. And before we finish, the bonus part is represented by the multiple turns. There are many ways to lead them. You can do spins, you can do turns, but the difference would be spin. spins are on one leg, turns are using both feet. One example would be you want to catch something in the music or you want to have more dynamic or you, you feel that energy growing like dun, 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 boom. For example, you turn her in place, boom, 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 pack. It can be used with all types of hands. You can do from salsa, like a touch and go, meaning you let go of one hand, for example, here. Boom, 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 pa, 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 can you go into waves? Or like separate, not separate hands. Right to right, this is gonna be a little bit weird, but it's the same, boom, 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 boom. She can go from here into like, uh, I don't know how we call this, like a round dip. So depending on which hand you are using, you can do different stuff. Stuff, stuff, not stop, stuff. Experiment. The important part here is for the ladies to know how to step. How we do this? We do small steps one after another, but very important, keep your feet together and don't raise them from the floor. You need to have them as close to the floor as possible. So step, 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 step. You can do as many steps as you need to keep your balance. But this is the very important thing. Don't raise your legs because it will be very hard to recuperate and to go further with the turn. And of course, for the multiple turns, it's very important to tense your abs, tense your hips. Also, the whole body needs to be straight in order to keep the balance and to be able to do the turns. She wanted to say to tense your glutes. <laughs> <laughs> your badongadong. <laughs> Multiple spins are quite difficult. You need a lot of practice, but the idea is you stay in one foot and they are usually done in place because you cannot like turn and hop on one leg. But what we recommend in socials, ladies do multiple turns, don't do multiple spins. That's why we won't cover them here. We hope you like this lesson. See you in the next one. Subscribe, marcelena.com. Bye-bye.